What's going on gamers? Today we're going to go over how to read your Minecraft crash reports. When you are modifying a server, you might eventually experience issues with the server crashing. These crashes are generally caused by either mods, the world, or the server jar. And when a server crashes, it generates a crash report in the FTP file access. These crash reports break down why a server crashes and can help you get a better understanding of how to fix it. At first look, it might seem a bit confusing, but all crash reports are fairly similar, and once you know what to look for, you'll be able to accurately read most of them. As for finding these crash reports, first head into your game panel and to the left press FTP file access and log in. Once you're there, you'll see a folder named crash reports. Enter it and then looking inside of that directory, you'll notice a file or multiple. Each file is written with the date, which makes it easy to know which report was made when. When there are several files, it's always best to look at the latest and most recent crash to identify the issue. Now to read the crash report, just click the edit link to the right hand side. This top portion of the report is where it will have the date, time, and stack trace. The stack trace is a report of when a program runs at a certain time in its execution. This will be primarily where we discover the error that is causing the server or client to crash. In this example, we can tell that a mod is missing due to part of the stack trace saying missing mods unknown. If we go down to the next line, we can see that it's telling us Minecraft Forge has a missing mods exception and that the mod Thomcraft needs the mod Bobbles version 1.5.2 in order to run properly. Now the second half of the crash report will go over your system details and the states of the mods loading in. With this, you can find out what version of Java they're running, how much RAM they have allocated, and the versions of the mods to be able to assist them. One of the best tools with crash reports is knowing the states in which a mod loads in. These states are U for unloaded, L for loaded, C for constructed, H for pre-initialized, I for initialized, J for post-initialized, A for available, D for disabled, and E for errored. You can see these states to the left of each mod. In this example, they only made it to the loaded state. So if you have a mod that was UCE, that would mean that the mod unloaded, constructed, and then errored, which means there was an error with loading that particular mod, causing it to crash, so you know what exact mod causes the issue and can look into why it's occurring. Obviously, there are hundreds of different reasons that your server might crash, since it can be from a world issue, server jar, mods, and more. But as long as you can narrow down what the reason is, the solution should come much easier for you. For example, if you can narrow down that it's a world issue, you can always Google the error line to see if there are any solutions, or you can try restoring a backup. With so many different solutions to so many different problems, there isn't a way to break down each individual error you can get, but hopefully this makes it a little bit easier to understand what you're reading. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.